This is a new test of Fraps full version. Okay, so some of the things we're going to go over in this video. Um, we're going to go over some targeting, some tips and tricks. We're flying the Cutlass Black today. So that actually has four mounts that are on gimbal, which is fantastic. I like gimbal, it's just my preference. Nobody, you don't have to, I don't care. Um, so what we're doing here. Let's see a few things. Game's still in a uh, game's still in alpha, so some things are a little bit buggy. Don't worry about. It. Like there, you can see my targeting reticle's got that dash coming off of it, but there's no trail, and now the trail works. So that's your targeting box. When it turns blue, that's gonna mean he, you're pretty much at a guaranteed shot. He's within it. Um, when that X appears, that means I've lo I landed a shot on him. And then when I have that red circle around him, that means I've got a missile lock. So that's a fantastic thing get some missiles off. Like I said, game's a little bit buggy. This is uh, this is just your standard dogfight mode. One player. These are all bots. Just doing some testing here. Trying to trying to see what I can do. This was actually basically me trying to figure out if I wanted to get this ship in the first place. It's more of a cargo vessel. But the one thing that really appealed to me is that it's got the four gimbal mounts on it. And it comes that way from the factory which is fantastic. That means I don't got to take the weapons off, put gimbals on. Uh, usually with a gimbal you're running a lower tier weapon anyways because it's pretty much a sacrifice to have the rotating guns. Um, but this thing comes out of the factory fantastic. You can see the fire rate on these lasers. Uh, these are classified as repeaters if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure exactly which ones they are, um, but you can look. It says right on uh, Robert Space Industries which guns these come with. Once again, you can see that reticle gets stuck in that position. I have not figured that out yet. I don't know if that's something I'm doing, or if it's just the game saying, ah, oh, this is the last spot it was in. Whatever. Um, so one, a couple of things that I want to go over here in this video, um, and we don't have much time left, it's just a couple minutes here. There's two tips that I've got that are going to help improve fighting. So when you have a target locked, you can hit the M key, what that does is it actually matches your target's velocity. I don't know if everybody knows that. I, when I was new, I didn't know that. I was just trying to dogfight, like flying a jet in atmospheric game. You know, could not could not nail it down. M matches your target's velocity, so it's kind of like an adaptive cruise control. You can get on your target, you can follow him around with a reticle, and then maintain um, a very very close distance to him to where you originally set it. It changed my dogfighting skills greatly. And, you know, game mechanic made me better. Uh-oh. Guess I need to get my skills better. Anyways, that's just a couple of things I wanted to go over. Um, gimbal mounts are great. Get that M key in there. Try it. Match your target's velocity. See if you can get on their tail. Just kind of follow them around. I know with bots, it's a little bit different than PvP. But, you know, when you have adaptive cruise control and then you just got to pilot the ship, I think it's great. Just a tip I wanted to give you guys. Thank you for watching.